So, uh, we are, where are we this time? Um, that's a great question. Oh, we're in Austin. Austin. Okay, Austin. And I'm here with uh, Thomas I. Nicholas 10. What have you been up to? Um, well, I'm still in post-production, but getting very close to finishing Adverse, uh, my newest film that I produced, uh, that I play the lead protagonist in, alongside Lou Diamond Phillips, Penelope Ann Miller, Sean Astin, and Mickey Rourke. So we're looking at a um, spring release, I guess like end of March, um, but more information on the uh, release date will be shared very soon on our social media and in the press. Right. Can you talk about what uh, the film is about? Yeah. I play a rideshare driver with a questionable past um, that has to, or that attempts to pay off a crime syndicate to save my sister. Right on. That's good. So that's that's good. Do you have any other films that are coming out? Um, nothing. Something just came out recently, which was Zeroville. Uh, just hit theaters in September with uh, James Franco, Will Ferrell, Seth Rogen, Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, Megan Fox. I played Martin Scorsese. Um, so it did like a limited theatrical. And yeah, and then I'm gearing up to shoot another film next year that I can't really say too much about yet. Right. Well, I'll find out next year about it. But until then, um, you're staying busy with your music for those people out there that don't know that you're an artist. So what kind of music do you play? Uh, I play rock. Um, I'm a 90s kid, so there's a bit of a 90s tinge to my music for sure. Uh, and I am currently writing for album number seven right now. Album, num album number seven. So what's the biggest album you have right now? Uh, biggest as far as... As far as um, people people playing the song over and over and over? Um, I would say my 2012 EP that had uh, the song My Generation on it. Um, I mean, really, My Generation is our biggest single simply because we got onto the soundtrack album of American Reunion. So it probably has the most spins due to that fact. Right. So do you have any reunions coming up with American Pie or anything? Um, well, I'm headed to Saudi Arabia to uh, Riyadh uh, this weekend, and Shannon Elizabeth and Chris Owen, who played the Shermanator, will also be there. Um, so I guess it's sort of a mini reunion. Right. So on American Pie, who is your favorite one to work with? Who do you get along most with on set? Um, you know, I mean... Back in the day, I, I was already kind of friends with Chris Owen um, beforehand, and and Shannon was always, I think, the most unaffected by uh, the success of the film. She she always remained the most even keeled. So ironic that I would be going to uh, another country with both of them. Um, not to say that they they're, they're the ones that I get along with, or that I don't get along with anyone else. Not to say that because everyone's really cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they win by, like, a tenth of a point. Right, right. Okay, so for those um, out there, subscribers, audience members, even your um, followers, people that ask you mostly on Twitter, um, such as, are there any behind-the-scenes things that you could share about Rookie of the Year or bloopers or the experience of working on set with any of the actors, Gary Busey? Um, I mean, I sure there are plenty of things that I could share or have shared. It, it's always the toughest question because, you know, you're talking about three months of filming, so lots of stories sort of pop into my mind uh, that I have told over the years. Um, so it's hard for me to pinpoint one. Is there anyone in particular you want to know about? Gary Busey. Okay. Um, my uh, my favorite favorite Gary Busey story uh, is simply everyone always asks if he's crazy or uh, you know what he's like and uh, my response has been and will always be that he was the nicest to me and I know this because he once carried me by my underwear 25 feet across the lunchroom in front of a hundred crew members but remember he was the nicest to me 
Right, right, exactly. Well, that's good. So, um, pretty much, if um, anybody wants to have any uh, info on you or your music, where do they go? Um, well, Tin Band, T I N Band, is pretty much the easiest way to find me. It's the website, the handle for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Not that there's any music on Snapchat. Um, and yeah, so Tin Band, even though it's just Thomas Nicholas Band. I put the I back in for the acronym. I don't know. I just want to confuse people. So hopefully you're as confused as I am. Right. And um, one more question is, for those who want to pursue acting, music, and as such as a career yourself, what would you tell people out there that are trying to follow their dreams? Um, never give up. You can have anything that you want and achieve anything that you want as long as you never start stop as long as you never stop working toward that goal so um, most of the time and if you look online or read stories about this um, failure is is a part of success so it's okay to fail um, and we learn a lot more from our failures than we do our successes and most of the time people who the I guess the only surefire way to in to fail indefinitely is to stop trying so you will never fully fail if you never give up well thank you very much for your time thank you all right bye